okay guys yes uh, this is another one yeah uh this is the engine that i built yes it's looking brand new i've been covering it you can see the the, the gear bus here so i've been complaining uh, and covering it for like one week now so i decided not to keep it here anymore so this is the gear bus too you can see it's been sitting down i don't like the way it sit down like this so i want to assemble it and uh, build a is it rack they call it or stand that's engine stand or engine rack this is it so i get this wood yes i get it from uh, this place we call it panteka so it was a carrier for load so i'm going to use it yes to build my engine stand or engine rack or engine carrier i don't know what i'm going to call it i'm going to search for the name later so this is it just show you so i'll show you the process i'll show you how i did it so let me get into it yes i'll get you guys back home okay guys so first of all i'm going to be piecing it up yes removing all the nails i'm not going to use nail yes i'm going to piece it up okay guys yes this is it so i dismantle it the way it is before so i'm going to be doing it now yes i bring it to inside there yes here is not conducive for me but i'm going to manage it to do it because i can't do it outside there's no any concrete floor on outside it's all dust and sound so that's why i decided to use a flat floor yeah. all right. Okay, guys, I'll start off by marking, by measuring the size of it. Yes, probably is three feet I want, but adding two inch and a half, not bad. So I'm going to take it out from here. Twenty, thirty. You will measure it that the head is at the head is yes, it's going to be here and here also at the head is. This one for the center. Okay, I'm going to do it at nine. At nine.
right, guys. This is it. You can see it. So let me turn it over for you guys to see. You can see it. So I'm going to add up the middle one. Yes. For better strong. Yes, I'm going to add it up like this. Yes, I'm going to add it up. So let me get that done. I'll get you guys back on. guys so you can see it so i'm going to mount the seating of the engine on this but right now i can't mount it unless i couple the engine together that was when i can do that but as from the table and the carrier i need a tire for me to be able to roll it around so i'm going to get go and get the tire right now then okay, i get to where i want to buy the wheel i'm not going to show the name of the shop yes how far now what did they happen i bet give me wheel yeah so i i agree to now yes this is wheel this is wheel this is wheel so i'm going to select out of this and see which one i'm going to use okay this is big yeah this is big i don't want the bigger one I want okay something like this, but I still I want small one like this. But you go the roll, yes, the rolling one. No, not are you? That it be. What about this? This one not too small. This fifteen. Give me the one where they follow this one. Okay, let me choose the one I want. Then I'll get you get it back on. Yes, I'm leaving the shop now. The one I got. Is kind of more expensive for me. Yes, it's seven point five, and um, uh, that's the one I need. They say I should go for five, five mm, but it's too small uh, for the engine to carry. So I'm going to go somewhere to get a fairly used one, since um, mm, just just for me to keep the engine somewhere. So I'm going to go and get a. Um, a Belgian one, maybe fairly used one. So I'll be going there now. So I hope you guys back on. Okay, guys. Yes, I told you I'm going to get uh, a cheap one. Yes, I couldn't get uh, fairly used, but I later get cheaper one. You can see this one. This one doesn't have a brake, but I'm going to use it like that. You can see there is uh, some kind of uh, fairly used here. Yes, you can get it, but me i'm going to pick up this one so back to the shop now okay guys yes back to the shop you can see it this is the one i got yes there is different yes let me let me explain there is different between those that one that former one that i get on the that i see on the first shop yes you can see this one is just like turning and uh, the other the, the, the just turning and uh, the two you can see two is turning but the two is not turning it's just permanent you can see it then on that one the first one that i said is too expensive for me both the four is turning yes and the tire is more of quality than this one you can see that one is uh, like me color but this one is black color 
and also that one also have stopper you see stopper here that you can press and the the tire will not move so that's the difference yes it's quite big but and uh, to call to save your cost and the money you don't have money on my budget this is what i can afford and i'm going to use it on this one if you mount it and you keep it on the and you keep it on the and running road like the, the the road was not level and it was running like this so this will definitely move unless you put a wedge to hit for it to stop maybe when i finish it i'll test it for you to see oh uh, yeah so that's the different there's the different on the money that one is more of quality than this but this one will still do my job for me so that's why i got this one so let me get it fixed Okay, guys, I finished tightening it. You can see here. Now. So, I'm going to turn it over. Yes, this is it. Yes. This is my skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me get myself wounded. So, that is it, guys. Okay, it's not all about it. It's remain here. There's not much. Yes, this is for the the engine seat where it's going to sit down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this one now or till I assemble the the engine. So so that is easy easy way that you can build your skateboard for engine or cardia for engine or running text for engine yes that is it so it's a small budget it's a small amount i spent but the result is quite fine for me so thank you for watching guys thank you please like comment and subscribe I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.